What is up everybody? How you guys doing? It's November 14th, 2023 and this is the calm before the storm video. Pretty exciting you guys. We got our first storm of the season coming through. Looking forward to it. We could get a little snow. It looks like maybe Friday um, but it's, 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 it's kind of going back and forth. I don't really know exactly what's going on. So it was supposed to be a good amount of snow when they had the forecast last week, but um, Ben from Ben's Weather is super, super confident. Um, I'm gonna show you what my other weather app says for this next storm, but this is our first storm. And don't forget the merchandise store is gonna be launching the first snowflake. So I'm hoping we get a snowflake at least because I want you guys to check this stuff out. You guys are gonna be stoked, super stoked. So, hang on a second. So for instance, this is tomorrow. Take take a look. It doesn't look like we're, we're gonna get really much of a chance of snow tomorrow night, but I think we could see a few snowflakes. That's my personal opinion. Then go to the next day, we're gonna get a little bit of a break. This is all part of the same system though, guys. So uh, let's see, is this Friday? So maybe, Maybe Saturday was, was when I saw a, a small chance of snow, but wow, it just, it just disappeared. That's really, really odd. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed, guys. Keep your fingers crossed that we get something in terms of the white fluffy stuff because that's what, that's what this channel's all about. We're about the snowfall. That's why we, I moved to Big Bear was to be around the snow um, because it makes me feel good inside. So yeah, guys, and don't forget, if you like what I do, I always say this at the very end of, of the videos, but please like and subscribe. It really does help with YouTube's algorithms to help push the video out further. Um, I would I'd really appreciate the help like that. Um, but yeah, so we're doing, as I said, the calm before the storm video. We're gonna drive by Bear Mountain real quick and check out some of the, some of the snow on Bear at the moment. And then we're probably gonna cruise over through the village and whatnot. And yeah, for those of you who are fairly new, for every single storm, we do a calm before the storm video. It's mainly so you guys can see exactly what's going on in town, what the town looks like. And then at the very end of the storm, we do what's called the aftermath video. So, so you can compare and contrast and see what the town looked like right before the storm and what the town looks like right after the storm. I really enjoy doing it. It's a cool perspective. See it completely dry like this and then all of a sudden, the aftermath video hopefully we'll have some uh, decent snow but look at that that's something else right there look at that wow oh you gotta love that you have got to love that look at that oh man that is something all right guys so we're gonna cruise through moon ridge oh my gosh i hope you guys are getting excited I don't know when we're supposed to open the resorts, but it's not going to be too long from now. I hope you guys uh, get a chance to come up here sooner than later and enjoy our beautiful, peaceful town. It's a great place to be, you guys. It's a really great place. Any questions you have, don't ever hesitate to ask. I'm always here for you guys. Always going to be here for you guys, okay? All right, so again, since this is the first calm before the storm, there's not really going to be much to really look at in terms of snow on the ground to do a compare and contrast to before and after but this is what we do guys and i'm excited to finally do a calm before the storm the last calm before the storm was the tropical storm that we got guys and uh before that it was the the last winter and and spring storms so this is exciting very very exciting I think I got a little bit of sap on my windshield, but we can take care of that. I'll take care of that before tomorrow. Or maybe I'll let the rain take care of it for me. Yeah, I thought we would do a, a, a quick little browse by Snow Summit as well, so you guys can see our two ski resorts in the area, and then go through the beautiful village. I think you guys will be stoked. Going to three of my favorite places. But again, I'm, I'm really looking forward to you guys getting the opportunity to come up here and take a load off. 
so many of you are just such incredible people. The love and respect that, that, that you guys show little old me and my beautiful wife is, is something pretty remarkable. I would have never imagined it in my entire life that people would treat us like how you guys treat us. so great. Can't wait for you guys to see the launch video for the for the merchandise. It's 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 gonna it's it's great. Again it's 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 got great production value. Um, I'm so lucky that that we have someone in our corner who is so good at that stuff, who wants to, to help us out by, by doing it. So I'm, as I said, elated about that. Absolutely elated. Let's see here. We're gonna have to go up here and turn left. We're gonna take the back way into Snow Summit. What I would really like, my darling, is my broccoli salad medley. That sounds really good. I appreciate the offer for a fruit salad. You're an angel, baby. But I'm okay on that. Okay, so we're gonna go down this street called Evergreen. We're gonna turn left at the next left. And Evergreen has a bunch of really beautiful, beautiful houses on there. And I'm gonna try to do a little more cleaning of my windshield while we're on Evergreen with my windshield wiper fluids. We got our snow tires put on yesterday. So I am good to go. Good to go. Oh yeah, let's just wash the heck out of this bad boy. I think that did a pretty darn good job. All right guys, so let's uh, look at some of these houses. They're just spectaculoso. Spectaculoso. On both sides of the street, we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous homes. But the ones on this side are my favorite. Just absolutely my favorite. Look at how cute that place is. We're coming up to my favorite one on this street. Not this one, even though I love that one. It's this one right here. Look at how cool that place looks, guys. I, I would love to stay there, but there's no way I could ever afford that. Maybe once I don't have all my car payments and my motorcycle payment, once that stuff's paid off, then I'll be able to do a little bit more with my my beautiful wife, but until then, it's it's tough. And I know all of you know what I'm talking about. Bills are not fun. But I put myself in a, a situation where uh, I got, as you guys know, I have a 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. I didn't want to spend that kind of money, um, but I test drove it when I crashed this car, and I fell in love with it and I had to have it and uh, yeah it's it kills me every month but you only live once and uh, hopefully I'll drive it a few times this winter time because of my accident that I had in this car my insurance is so sky high you guys so I've got my that other Subaru um, in the most basic basic insurance mode um, and I thought, you know what, I'll just drive this one until the wheels fall off. So I basically have a brand new, I only have 5,000 miles on my other Subaru. So worst case, if I'm ever at a point where I have to sell it, at least I only have 5,000 miles on it. It shouldn't be too hard to sell, but it's a very expensive car. It's crazy. But anyway, guys, we're coming up to Snow Summit right now. Um, again, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm so glad to have you guys here with me. You guys mean everything to me. You guys have such a huge impact on my heart. I love you guys so dearly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive through this little section and take a nice look at the resort. Let's see here. I love this place, it's so awesome. 
Okay, this is the ticket box area. This is where you buy your tickets to go skiing here at Snow Summit. Oh, it's such a great place. All right, let's see here. I wanna make sure that I don't put anybody on a video that, that, that doesn't want it. All right, so let's see here. Look at that. They're getting it going, guys. They're getting it going. They're working really hard to get it ready for you guys. These guys do such a good job taking care of the tourists. This is a beautiful thing. So that's Snow Summit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And now we're going to head over to, uh, to the village. The village. Go back down Summit Boulevard. I really beg you guys to do me a huge favor. Please keep your fingers crossed about the snow for this storm. I am so excited to see our first snow. Thank you, baby. Just one pound of it would be great. I really appreciate you so much. I love you so much, babe. Okay, we are coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. And uh, yeah, we just gotta be careful that we don't get into any accidents here. hotels going up right here it, it's a, a hotel by the Hilton company so I'm looking forward to Rachel and I staying there and doing a video for you guys as soon as it opens since it is brand new I'll just put it on my credit card and and not stress about it I always want to make sure that you guys see what we have to offer it's really important I want to give you guys my honest, my honest opinions on everything that I experience up here. But keep in mind something that's very important is my opinion is a subjective one, okay? So just because I might not be too thrilled about something or not like something so much, I don't want you guys to, to think that that's gospel right there. I suggest that you try everything anyway, but I'm always going to give you my personal op opinion. Um, and I'm gonna always be honest about it too. I'm not gonna stroke you guys or say anything that's not true. Um, you know, even at the risk of an owner of certain companies getting mad at me. I'm always gonna be honest with you guys, but that's another reason I stress that this is very subjective, my opinion on all this stuff, on the restaurants I eat at, the hotels we stay at. Um, so yeah, just please remember that because I don't want you guys to not experience something that could be fun for you just because I didn't enjoy it too much. But I am just trying to do the best I can for you guys so you have the best trip that you can have up here. I'm always here to answer questions. I really, really care deeply for each and every single one of you. Thank you guys for sharing this YouTube experience with me and being in my life. I mean, seriously, thank you so much. So I'm going to shut this off for a second while we're waiting at the light. But we're turning into the village right now. This street is called Pine Knot. And on the corner is Robin Hood Resort. I think I have one or two lodging videos there. When you see a place where I have multiple lodging videos, it's because it's, it's different rooms, different layouts and stuff like that, different parts of the property. So it's, it's all different. I just wanted you guys to know that. So hang tight until this turns green. Okay, here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's the what's the what's the scenario? Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Hey, we're entering beautiful Big Bear Village right now, folks. 
And remember, through this part of town, you have a bunch of restaurants and shops and um, just just really yummy stuff, uh, like a like a fudge factory. We've got this place, Gelato and Tea House. Say hi to George when you go to the Gelato place right there. George is super cool. He's my neighbor. He's a really neat guy. He's the manager there. We've got, as I said, restaurants on both sides here, gift shops on both sides here, our movie theater, which is this spot right here, Village Theaters. I've heard Jasper's Barbecue is really good, but I've never eaten there yet. We got a couple bars in this area as well. I stay away from those places for the most part, like the plague. But for those of you who have the ability to enjoy a drink or two without any issues, then I suggest you come enjoy yourself. But if you wanna to go to a bar up here and have fun and be probably safer, go to Big Bear Bar and Grill. They are a really good spot. I'm friends with the owners. Um, it really is, a, a, you know a fun spot where you don't have to worry too much about um, I don't know just too out of control people it, it's a nice mixture of locals and tourists and again I think you guys would really enjoy yourselves there here's village sports bar pretty cool pretty cool that used to be the cave which was a place for 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 concerts and stuff right here's a good Indian restaurant masala craft but I prefer the Himalayan, which is right down the street. That place is fantastic. It's uh, the own, one of the workers at the Himalayan, apparently this is the story that I've heard, broke off and ended up starting his own place called um, Masala Craft right there. And this is another fantastic restaurant. It's called Oakside, right here. Right, right on the corner as you're leaving the village, right here. So Oakside darn good restaurant and this is my favorite high-end hotel or lodging you could say here it's the uh, club at Big Bear Village it's from Blue Green Resorts I've also done a video at this place as well in the biggest room they have to offer that is oh my gosh uh, a Holiday Inn owned resort But yeah, guys, usually for the calm before the storm, I'm doing a, I drive around majority of, of the town because one thing I point out every year is that some, some parts of town will consistently get more snow every storm. For instance, if there's like, let's say there's a foot of snow this direction towards the Big Bear Dam back behind us, on the other side of town, seven and a half, eight miles away, same elevation, everything in Baldwin Lake, on the other side of Baldwin, they might get an inch or two. And it's consistently a huge discrepancy like that every every single storm. So I can tell you guys where you, would, where you want to rent an Airbnb, what part of town if you want the most snow or if you don't want as much snow and just, I can help you with all that, no problem. This is the marina. I love that place as well. I have a nice video there. It's a fantastic spot. They just redid everything. So I think you guys would really enjoy that. But once again, right here, we're passing Pine Knot, which is where we entered into the village. There's the village again, boom. But yeah, this is the calm before the storm. I'm not expecting a huge amount of snow, but we could get a good dousing of rain from this storm it could be pretty heavy at times so of course i'll be out and about doing what i do for you guys to bring you the best coverage possible so you can see with your own eyes what's going on i like showing you guys instead of you guys depending on all the news stations using hyperbole and exaggeration about what's going on i of course i want you guys to come up here and enjoy yourselves and spend money to help our town because that's that's what our town needs that's how we survive but at the same time, I want you to have a good time. I don't want you wasting money. And as I said, I will always be honest uh, uh, you know, about absolutely everything. Just to make sure that you guys have the best experience that you could possibly have. But what a 
gorgeous time of day right now. It's 55 degrees. It's, it really is such a beautiful time of day. little restaurant it's uh oh my gosh what's it called alpine alpine cafe i believe is is what it's called it's pretty good but those of you who are coffee lovers i'm telling you right now go to big bear coffee roasting company it's on the boulevard we're on right now the other direction so if you make a u-turn it'll be on that side of the street over there it's called big bear coffee roasting company about a mile in the other direction they roast all their coffee in-house. It is the freshest, best tasting coffee by far that you will find up here. And the owner, Chris, is just an incredible human being. Um, when I referred you guys to that store and, and did a video of the store for him, so many of you stopped into that store and there, there was nothing negative anybody said. Most people actually said it became one of their favorite coffees, if not their most favorite coffee to drink. So I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping you guys give that place a chance because he is he's just a wonderful man with quite the work ethic and a phenomenal product but yeah thank you guys again for being here with me thank you for sharing all the love that you share with me you guys I, I really really care about you guys tremendously I'm ready to get this season going I'm ready to get to meet a lot of you when you come up here don't don't ever forget <clears throat> Send me a message, hit me up. Worst case, I'll at least try to swing through to like shake your hand, give you a big hug. And uh, yeah, I, would, I, I love that stuff. So hope to meet you guys soon. Once again, if you like what I do, please like and subscribe. Get ready for the launch of the merchandise. I think you're gonna like the launch video, you guys. I love you guys tremendously. And I will talk to you all later. Take care. It's November 14th, 2023.